Right, I'm going to do a mailbag video because I've got a pile of stuff here. Um, I've got a few items in bags, I've got a box, and I've got another big box right here. This is the interesting one out of all these, I think. So, we shall, I'll make some space, move these off, then I'll go through these and we'll go and see what we've got. Right. What have we got in here? Transistors of some kind. I don't know what they are. Two in seven thousand is that? Yeah, two in seven thousand. I think there's little MOSFETs. Um, I thought I got those because they'd be a good little um, package because they're nice and small. And they could replace some other transistors which maybe I bit pushed. So I didn't have anything, so I've got a bunch of them. Uh, two, three, four. Yeah, we've got fifty of them. So yeah, I don't have a specific use. I think I just got them because. I was thinking of it at the time. All right, next thing, element 14. Now I've got an idea what's in here. I've ordered a few things from element 14 recently. Um, the difference between element 14 and RS is that RS you get free shipping, element 14 I have to pay for shipping, um, but they're faster. So it depends on what you want. I mean, if you want it to be quicker and get the thing within a week, Go with them at 14. Um, RS might, you might get it in a week if you're lucky, you know, um, but usually it's more like two to three weeks. So it depends on if you can wait for it or not. And I'm being impatient about this, so I chose not to wait. Well, actually, I've, I've, to the truth, I've actually bought two lots. I bought some from RS and Element 14. Um, let's get the invoice out of the way. Okay. okay. Just makes some space. Right. A couple of capacitors. So these are 15 UF 450 volt. Now this is for the fluke. Give me a second, I'll get the parts. Where are we? Right, so this is for this fluke power supply section here. And let's replace these ones. These are 15 UF 400 volt. So these are actually a slightly higher voltage upgrade, and you can see they're smaller. So it's, uh, I hope you can see it smaller. Pack it in the bags and help you much. So as you expect, in, you know, newer technology, newer caps, they're all just more compact. I mean, you can look at this difference in these ones here, you know. That was one of those. So um, that's what those are for. So I've got those caps now. I'm still waiting for these caps. Um, I can't really do any more with the fluke until I've actually got these all these caps replaced. That's the next thing I'm working on. Okay, next thing. Ah, hold on a second. Hold on a second. It's a fifteen hundred. So 15,000 UF 16 volt and 220 UF 400 volt. These are the caps I'm waiting for. These also from 11 14. Um, they are for what? Hold on a second. Not those, I don't think. No. Oh, where are they? I forgot where they are. I don't know what those were for. I've completely forgotten. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're for the fluke anyway. Um, who's in the bag? Yeah. There we go. Uh, brand, I don't remember. 85 degrees C, but that's... You know, I prefer to get 105s. 
but I think I, what I could get pretty much is a case of you know it is what it is really now these are say 220 400 volt and same deal so I'm not sure what brand these were don't remember um, I don't, don't recognize that symbol I really should memorize these symbols or, or make a note of them or something but also the same brand I just don't know which ones they were there's my invoice which I had just now and hopefully I'll tell me hold on <sighs> doesn't say right. oh it doesn't matter that much if anyone knows what that what that symbol is what brand that is just let me know in the comments that'd be great <laughs> somebody might know what it is off my hat off by um off by heart anyway um so those are 220 uf 400 volt don't remember which those my signs are for either so 16s and a 400 uh 16 220 uf i don't know i'm gonna have to look into those i don't remember i've got so many caps to replace it's just ridiculous um, or it might have been I just thought I needed to get some as a stock as possible but uh, anyway I'm waffling again next thing this is uh, from J cars I believe so I think I know what's in here anyway probably not that exciting to be honest let's just make some space give that crap give it that Right, so a couple of uh, spray cans and stuff, I'll just be stocking stuff. So, a bit of electronic cleaner spray and some cleaner lube, so for switches and stuff like that. And this are TO220 um, heatsink brackets. But the reason I got these is I was thinking, well, not only can they act as brackets, they can also act as heatsinks. Right. So I think there's a hundred in here, it's like this is the way they came. Um, but sometimes you just need a little bit of heat sinking, just a little bit. You don't want a massive heat sink that takes up a lot of space, you just want it to give it a bit more um, dissipation quality on the actual transistor. I mean, the transistor itself should be able to take it, but you just want to give it an easier life, all right? Um, such as in the fluke, there's a couple of transistors in there which I'd like to do this to, which is actually why I've got them. Um, and so it's just a bracket, but you can actually bolt that through onto the transistor and that acts then as a heat sink so um you know i'll get used well they'll get used at the very least you can use them as bolts you know to clamp them with the heat sinks um which is what they're meant for but anyway so that's that let's see what the next thing is right this big box here this is a bit of a special one um i saw a video recently on someone's channel I think it was um, Jack Gensel I think it might have been I'm not sure and um, I saw a interesting logic analyzer feature and I thought that looks pretty cool um, it looks like something I'd like to have a play around with so I contacted a company which is zero plus and said hey um, would you be interested in me doing a review a review on your product I said you know Whatever product, I didn't have anything in particular in mind, just um, you know, a logic analyzer kind of thing. Of course, they have a range of different ones. And um, they said, yeah, basically. They said, yes. They asked what I, what I would like to look at. And, um, and what I wanted to try and convey in the video, obviously, because, you know, for them, it's marketing. And I said, well, I just want to do a review and just do a usage thing and demonstrate it basically and find a way around it and they're interested so they've sent me this um, lots of probe cables lots of probe cables all right so we got there that's three seven eight ten thirteen sixteen twenty probe cables all right that gives you an idea what this thing can do Right, so I'm going to get this thing out of the box and I shall come back. Actually, no, I won't get it out of the box. I'll carry on. Let's move this out of the way for now. I think it's double boxed. It looks like it is. Yep, so actually, I will come back. Hold on. OK, 
Okay, so here's your yeah, actual box. So you see, zero plus. Um, now, I've forgotten the model number. I don't have it on hand. Hopefully it's one here, there we go. So it's the LAP F1404M. So it has a USB 3 interface, but it does work on USB 2 apparently. Um, so this is a bit of a beast. And I'm very lucky to be actually uh, get the opportunity to do this one. You know? It's an expensive piece of gear. I believe it's an expensive piece of gear, from what Jank Gensel was saying, but um, anyway. Obviously I'll get this as a free sample. So it didn't cost me anything. So you also got a installation software, user guide. Over here. And we have the actual unit here. So there's the in connections. Um, I have to figure all this out. So it's got the USB, main and USB 3 connection here. Trigger out DC, clock in, stack, which I can't believe it was for, clock out. And yeah, I think it's something else. And that's all the connections to the probes. So as you can see, this is a 32 pull unit. Broke up into four blocks of 16. That's right. No, it's not 32 is it, it's 64. Now, I believe it's the same unit, the same housing used for all the units, but the actual um, number available is changed depending on which model it is. I believe that's the case. Um, so although it's got 64 ports, I don't think all 64 enabled, I think it's, um, I think it's a setup of 40 ports, this one. Something like that, I could be wrong. I have to look into that. Uh, let's put this down somewhere, it's not going to fall off. That'd be really bad. What's in here? Power supply. Probe cables. So these are colour coded. I think the colour coding is purely for reference. It doesn't actually have any um, meaning as such, it's just for reference. So you can you know, see what's going on a bit easier. So these are USB 3 connections. And there's a USB 3 cable there as well, and a BNC cable for the trigger out. So I'll be doing a proper review on this. This is just a mailbag unboxing thing to show you what's coming up. Cause I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people which are interested in this. Last box out. Come on. I think that's right at the bottom, is it? Yes, it is. So I might just open it like this then. So, what's in here? Uh, hook probes. A whole bunch of those for the various test points and connections. Power cable. Uh, not correct one for my country, but that doesn't matter. It's just a standard IC cable. I've got dozens of those. Not an issue. Um, I probably should have specified actually, would have sent me the right one. Here are the actual uh, probes themselves, the actual connectors. Um, these are the input devices, so there's four, five there, sorry, five in that one. I think there's different versions. So it's a P200. They've got different specs, I can't remember what the differences were now. I'm going to have to look that up when I do the final review. So P120, P200, um, and there's that's a, sorry, here we go. 200 megahertz, 120 megahertz. Um, that's EMC 5.1 or EMMC. So that's EMC probes. Um, CMOS bus one, so 1.2, 1.5, 1.8 volts. There's another pack of those, same ones. How many in there? 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. There's 8 in there, so 16 there. And another pack there of four more, so that's 20 there. So that's pretty cool. So ABC, they actually labelled bags. And there's a little warranty thing there, looks of it. So yeah, I'll be going through all this properly in a later video and uh, covering everything. So hopefully you'll tune in and have a look. 
So that's the mailbag for now. Catch you later. Have a good one. Remember to subscribe, especially if you want to see this thing in action. And um, to your friends and click the bell icon if you're not already receiving notifications, that kind of thing. Catch you later. Bye.